is under pressure. The finance minister, P. Chidambaram. On one side, he knows he has to finance all the big popular schemes of the UPA government. On the other, there is tremendous pressure because of the custom duty cut and excise rejig. He will have to give up a lot of revenues. Satna Das puts the mathematics of this oil rejig. Oil is the biggest revenue earner for the government. And it is not easy for P. Chidambaram to give up the cash when he is under pressure to finance more populist schemes like NREG and Bharat Nirman. But today he had no choice. By giving up on customs duties, government is all set to lose about 15,500 crore. Reduction of excise will mean another hit of 6,600 crores. Overall, the total hit will be over 22,000 crore. While there are tremendous demands on the revenue, especially for programs and schemes in the social sector, it has been decided to make certain duty changes in customs and excise. These duty changes will result in an estimated loss of revenue of about 22,660 crores. But the overall maths of the oil politics is something the government will have to once again apply its mind on since the worst may not be over just yet. Of the total under recoveries of over 2,45,000 crore of the oil marketing companies, the finance ministry has agreed to issue oil bonds worth a massive 94,600 crore. Between upstream oil companies and oil marketing companies, the total subsidy burden will be in the range of 65,000 crore, majority of course being footed by upstream companies. Another 22,660 crore will come via duty cuts, money that will be passed on to the oil companies. And the price hikes on petroleum products will yield another 21,123 crores. According to the Revenue Secretary, this will still leave an oil deficit of 29,000 crore. The bond requirement now stands at after adjusting all, 2.55 lakh crores minus 22,000 crores by way of finance ministry, minus an additional 21,123 crores by way of price division, minus another 40,000 crores by way of upstream sharing, minus an additional 20,000 crores to be absorbed, it stands at roughly 1.35 lakh crores. It has been decided that bonds to the extent required will be provided for. Analysts say with the liberal duty cuts announced on crude and petroleum products today, India's fiscal deficit would stretch beyond the 3% of the GDP targeted under the FRBM for the current financial. Against this, the finance minister himself has set an ambitious target of controlling fiscal deficit at 2.5% of the GDP. All this is happening due to higher expenditures and lower revenues, especially with the government also having to set aside more money for the loan waiver scheme and higher salaries for government employees. In New Delhi, Sapta Das for NDTV.